cathode, which is the positive side. These are separated by the electrolyte, a substance that allows special particles called ions to move between them. So, how does it all come together to power your device? When you connect a battery to something like a light bulb, a chemical reaction kicks off at the electrodes. The anode starts to give up its electrons, which then flow out of the battery, through the circuit of your device, and into the cathode. This flow of electrons is what we call an electric current. It's the very thing that powers your device. At the same time, inside the battery, ions move through the electrolyte to keep the whole process balanced. Simply put, one material loses electrons while another gains them. And this reaction releases the energy stored in their chemical bonds as electricity. Now, what about rechargeable batteries? These are what we call secondary cells. When you plug your phone into charge, you're essentially forcing this whole process to run in reverse. An external electric current pushes the electrons back to the anode, and the ions move back to their original places. This reverses the chemical reaction and restores the battery's stored energy, getting it ready for another use. On the other hand, primary cells, like the single-use batteries you might put in a remote, are designed for one-way reactions and can't be easily recharged, of course. Not all batteries are created equal. For instance, if you try to draw a lot of power from a battery very quickly, you might get less total energy out of it than if you used it at a slower, steadier rate. Temperature also plays a big role a battery in the cold just won't work as well. And over time, every battery's capacity to hold a charge will decrease. Eventually, they all wear out and need to be replaced or recycled. So, from your TV remote to massive electric cars, batteries are the unsung heroes powering our modern world. They are tiny chemical power plants, converting stored energy into electricity using two electrodes and an electrolyte. As this technology keeps getting better, it will unlock even more amazing possibilities for the future. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this interesting, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more content.